Hello and welcome to day 24 of the challenge. I hope you are well today. We are going to focus on the lower body. We are going to do 12 rounds, 50 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Um, you're going to need a chair, a little space on the wall, and probably your dumbbells. Really, your dumbbells are going to be optional today, but it'll be great if you challenge yourself to use them, at least for some of the exercises. So as I say, one round through, it will fly by, I'm sure. Um, we're going to get a really good leg workout today. So we're going to start with our squats. So we're going to take hold of our dumbbells to start with. That's it. So you can either hold them together like a goblet or bring them up so that you can rest them on your shoulders. So we're going to plant the feet. We want to keep our chest up. That's just going to start getting the body warmed up and ready for all the other exercises to come. So we're going to keep the chest up sitting back, squeeze the glutes on the way back up. I'll talk you through what's coming whilst we do our squats. So we're gonna do some lunges on each side after this, and some calf raises, squat reverse lunge, then onto a wall sit. Straight leg deadlift, that's a single leg squat from the chair on both sides, some curtsy lunges, and then the single leg straight leg deadlift to work on our balance at the end. But let's not think too much about that. Let's focus on our squats, trying to get down nice and low, keeping the weight going into the heels and then driving back up to the top. Well done. Good, one more time. Fantastic. 20 seconds in between each of these exercises because I know this is quite an intense day. You're really gonna feel it. These are big muscles doing the work. So we're gonna start with our static lunges on the left side first. So you can either choose to keep this body weight or bringing one or both dumbbells into your hands. Nice big step. And then we're dropping the right knee down. I want you to drop it as far as you feel you can. Ideally, we're gonna get it down to the floor. You just wanna very gently touch the, so touch, the tricep, touch the knee down and then come back up. So we're keeping the knees in line with our toes. And if you are finding you're a little bit crunched, you just need to take that slightly bigger step so you've got the space to drop that knee down. Keeping the chest up. That's it, fantastic. Nice and controlled. You can feel your legs working. Good. And one more on this side. And then we're going to shake it out. We've got 20 seconds. And then we're going to take it with the right leg forward. Good stuff. Again, I've got a little bit of extra time. Take that nice big step so you're all ready and in position. And then we're going to drop it down. I'm making sure you're level on this side as well. Sometimes it's easier on one side than the other. And again, just lining everything up, making sure that knee is in line with your toes and it goes over the top of your ankle and then you're driving it back up. Good, keeping your weights down by your sides. Just adding that little bit more work, helping you get that a little bit stronger, nice and gently as you tap your knee down. and keep it going. Less than 10 seconds to go. Well done. And one more time. Stepping it through. You don't be able to shake out during those 20 seconds. And then we're going to bring it into our calf raises next. So we're trying to get up onto our tiptoes, squeezing to the top and then controlling it back down again. If you need a little bit of balance, you can just touch a wall or hold onto your chair. Off we go, so you can squeeze right up as high as possible and then control it back down. And you can do this body weight or just holding those weights to make it that bit more challenging. Squeezing up, controlling it down. That's it. This is definitely one of those workouts you're going to feel. I'd love to hear 
which exercises you find most enjoyable and which ones you find most challenging when you get to the end of this workout. That's it, we're going to squeeze up to the top, keep it going, we're nearly there. Let's take time for one more. Fantastic. Might want to pop your weights down, give your hands a little bit of a rest. And then it's going to be the squat reverse lunges. I'm just going to show you, plant the feet, take a squat, lunge one leg back, bring it back into the squat, and then lunge the other leg back and bring it into the squat. Are we ready? So we're coming into that squat, lunging it back, come up to the top, lunge it back, come up to the top. If that's feeling good, grab a weight, grab both weights. That's just going to add to the difficulty. This is going to really help get your quad stronger. It's also great for your core because you're having to keep your chest up. But really try and not fold. It's very easy for the body to start wanting to kind of just come over. Keep the chest up. That's it, good. Well done. Less than 10 seconds to go. That's it, you can do it. Keep it going. One more time. And <laughs> coming up, well done. We are heading to the wall for our halfway exercise. <laughs> it's a wall squat. You get to sit still essentially, <laughs> but we're gonna feel our quads engage as we do. Right, let's get into position. Feet a couple of feet away from the wall, sliding it down, pushing the chest into the wall. Really try and get low. I know what happens, you wanna try and protect yourself, but see if you can get down. The worst that can happen is you end up sat on the floor. It's okay. <laughs> Just try and push yourself. That's it. Nice big breaths. Distract yourself, We're already halfway. And get a nice stretchy one after this, straight leg deadlift. That's it, good. Come on. A few more breaths. You can do it. Sink a little bit lower if you can. You're in for the last few seconds. Come on. Three, two, one, and up. You come. Oh, shake it out. Shake it out. Nice stretchy one next. Straight leg deadlift. Taking hold of your dumbbells. So I bring them in front, hip width apart with the feet. We're gonna get that nice hinge at the hip so that we can feel the stretch down the back of the legs. And then we squeeze the glutes to come back to the top. That's it, really take your time on this one. It's not just about going down and up. It's about trying to lengthen down the back of your legs. Don't arch your back. Pause at the bottom. That's it. Stretch and squeeze. Well done. Focusing on the quality for the last ten seconds. And one more time. Fantastic. Well done. A little bit of a rest. In fact, you can even sit down because our next one starts from the chair. We're doing the single leg squat from our seated position. So get yourself nice and comfy, planting that left foot, and then we're going to drive it up. So we're coming up standing and controlling it back down to a seated position. Use your right side as an assistance if you need to. Try and push through that left foot, squeeze the glute to control it back down. That's it. Together. That's it. 
and get 20 seconds rest. We're gonna try and get the same number on the right side. Well done, so we wanna plant our foot, spread the toes. You ready? Let's go, so driving it up, controlling it back down. Trying to keep the foot flat. giving yourself assistance with that left foot a little bit if you need to. See if you can take it down as you sit back to the chair. And flying through this workout. Getting your legs stronger, working on balance. That's it. One more time. Well done. And a little shake out. 20 seconds. We're going to do our curtsy lunges next. So again, think of starting in the centre. We bring our right leg behind our left, bringing the knee down, coming up. And then we take our left foot back behind. 50 seconds starts now. So step back and curtsy down. Sometimes can be quite a bit easier. If they imagine <laughs> that's what they're doing. If you'd like to hold your weights at the same time too, you can bring them up, bring them down by your sides. I'm just going to add a little bit more difficulty. That's it. Keep it going. And one more. That's it. Shaking it out. Two minutes, really, we've got left. We're so nearly there. Back to that balance test. We're going to do our single leg, straight leg deadlift. Let's start by bringing all the weight into our left foot. Now, if that's enough of a challenge, hold it there. If you feel like you can start pushing, you want to hinge until that right leg is back. You're going to feel this in your left glute and hamstring, and then squeeze back up to the top. So we're going to focus on this left side, get that balance, squeeze back up. In a way, adding a weight can actually make it a little bit easier because it can help counterbalance you as your lever goes back. The weight is going down. the control it's often challenging you in different ways hopefully you're already finding it easier than the first time you tried last one Fantastic. Well done. have a little shake out a little bit of a release and then we will finish on our right side so let's get ourselves into our starting position Spread the toes, bring your weight into your right leg, and then make a start. So we'll get that nice hinge, left leg goes back, squeeze it back up to the top. Well done. If you're trying to keep your hips level, you can soften the knee that we are, or the leg that we are using be locked straight. Just a little softening. Just help. Squeeze the glute. Well done. Last 10 seconds. Last one. Well done. And relax. Pop your weight down fantastic job. I hope you feel like your legs have worked. This is probably one of those workouts that you are going to feel it in your quad. So don't forget, just grab your foot, lengthen down the front of your legs. 
do it on both sides and also try and keep moving whatever you have left of your day. So we'll stiffen up if you are sat down, but if you go for a little walk, even just around your garden or house, hopefully that will help to ease them. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Have a fantastic day and I'll be back for another one tomorrow.